Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel, y'all, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> it's time man be riding the tailgate so you can get again. a cigarette fixed. You did it again. Caught me off guard the camera. <laughs> cover in the gaming system we got a hive coming in the outside corner right up here this is a, a apartment constructed on trusses so trust us when i say they're in the corner <laughs> we're gonna cut the corner out right here not there probably 16 to 24 inches above that yep we don't know what size it is so we get we get zero heat signature on the ceiling uh, of course we flare the walls just to make sure but we already did that, nothing in the walls, 99% certain. They're in between floors, because they always are in these apartments. It's super rare for them to be anywhere but between the floors on these apartments. So we gotta cover everything up. We use these multi-packs of- You probably mentioned this is probably not the first time they've seen these apartments. Yeah, we've been in, uh, this, this company owns several apartment complexes and they all look pretty much alike. So. You've probably seen this one before, or think you have. I was gonna show Pete unraveling these plastics. When you're undoing these things at a customer's house, they always wanna jump in and help you unravel it. And it's almost like somebody wanting to help you tie your shoes. It's, <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, I know you're trying to be nice, but get out of the way, you're in my way. <laughs> yeah, much easier to unravel them by yourself. We'll put one on the wall, one on the floor cover up anything important in the house and uh, make our marks and start cutting. Okay, that's you. Come here. There's a beam right there. Yeah, well, there's a metal strip probably. These trusses have, a lot of times have metal strips on the bottom of them that the sheet rocks mounted to. Oh, we got that something to drink, like water or something? Oh, we got Yeah, we, we bring that. No, we, no, we have bottled water, so. Uh, okay. Man, that's what he's got. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bottled water is his, the cup's mine. I mean, ours is, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, oh. Um, you want the nail bar? Yeah, I'm fixing the stuff. Keep trying to get that out of the stall for it. Go bigger and bigger until it says, I give. And what's given is the sheet rock now. Yeah. Two weeks, everybody, two weeks. <laughs> Look at the size of that monster. That hole is 24 by 24. Give you a sense of scale. And those trusses are, um, looks like 20s, 18s. 18s. That's so, what I know what it looked for. So this hive is about 17 or 18 inches deep. By, and it goes back over the wall, so probably looking at 22 inches wide in both directions. Oh, thank God there's a stop there. <laughs> thank God there's a wall right there. <laughs> it's as good as that. Half, half, half cut the sheet rock. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we got the homeowner here. What do, you, what do you think living with? Hey. Oh, living with that up in New Salem. That's a that's a family up there. <laughs> Big family. <laughs> more than yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge. That had to have been a massive swarm that came in because they've only they hadn't been there long. It's all white comb. It's all this season. Today is April second. <laughs> Today you've got silicone in your beard. Yeah. And a sting in the chin. I just cracked the window on this. Instead of having the back bees out of the window. Let them outside. I would open it all the way up when we get the air conditioner cranked down. That corn is so soft. 
Yeah. I'm getting it with the vacuum cleaner. With the B-Vac. I almost wish we could use smoke on this. I know. I wish we could. It's so soft, it's the only way you can get it off of there. See, let it brood. On that third car. Right, right here. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit on one next to it. I see more underneath this one too. Yeah. Yep, well. When we get to the wall, you better be careful. There's nails sticking out through that sheathing. Yeah, on the other side too. Yeah, there's like two inch nails sticking out this side. It's both sides because I was running into them on the other one. I'm bad about cutting myself on them things. Break time. We're out here admiring the new ligustrums they're planting out here. Bee food. Yep. These ligustrums bloom along with the privet. The privet just came in, so did ligustrum. The stuff plays out a little faster than the privet though. It blooms, pops, and drops. Pops and drops. You start seeing white all over the ground because it drops pretty fast and it blooms a lot. Bees get on it. This one will hit the hook on here. This one won't suck them up. It's like it's too small. Which one? The... Oh, I wouldn't have any problem with it. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, you can still see you that. Gotta, you got to get it at the right angle on the wood. No, I mean, they're still in there. They're not coming out of it. How much vacuum you got? How much vacuum you got on the tip? Fill it. I got the big one on there, but it won't fit. Yeah. It's got a better range here. You want, you want to straight cut this one? Uh, no, I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> you want that other foot to reach? Well, it's not the reach, it's the, uh, the vacuum there. Tape it. We're at the point where I'm about to put the jacket on because they're wearing us out. That's a lot of bees. I've already been probably stung 30, 30 times or so in the shoulders and arms. Pete's probably taking 10 or so. No more than that, but I took it to the chin, it really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so jacket time it is. finished up on this job and I want to show you the guy that lives there runs, uh -huh. runs Shipley's Donuts he fixes both a, a sample box <laughs> yeah, I plan to sample it <laughs> they might make it home I might make it home but he won't make it past coffee in the morning <laughs> skipping the bagels tomorrow yeah, we drove off and had to come back. We forgot that extension cord, so. <laughs> we forgot the trash. We <laughs> found the extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> we got out and, and returned to key at the office, and I said, hey, did we pick the trash up? <laughs> He's looking at me just like, what? The I trash? I don't remember. Do you remember? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean the <laughs> trash? <laughs> the larger vehicle has the right away. <laughs> Size does matter sometimes. Hey, we just did three jobs today, and it ain't even dark yet. We got time to start another cutout. I miss my recliner too much. <laughs> we did a four stab scan this morning, a cutout this afternoon, and then we just got done uh, running coons out of an attic. 
<laughs> or Pete did. I was I was support at the bottom of the ladder because the ladder wouldn't hold me. It's supposed to be yellow and black stripes. What the hell are you getting us into? <laughs> no, dude, I'm not looking at you for your bike. I'm not looking at you for your hat. <laughs> it's those pants, bro. It's the pants. <laughs> it's the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bike. The hat was interesting, but wow. <laughs> Going through a row of nukes here. This is what most of them look like. You know who would soil their pants if their nukes look like that? <laughs> I got thin these now. Are we getting nukes ready? We're working on it just as hard as we can go. If I'd throw these sticks away and walk, I'd get get something done around here. <laughs> <laughs> Got your pine straw bag? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Oh, welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Just woke up from a nap. It's Easter afternoon, Easter evening at sunset. 7:32 p.m. on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. I'm headed to move some nukes for my dad. He has some in his backyard that he wants. <laughs> he had somebody I know. He has some in his backyard that he wants to set up where he's going to place them permanently. So we're going to move them, and they're going to lose a lot of forage force, a lot of field force, field bees, tomorrow when they go out and fly again, but all those bees will go back to where they are now, which there's a bunch of nukes set up, and they'll just merge with something else. And the nukes that we're moving are so heavily populated, they need a reduction anyway. I don't know how soon he's gonna get to putting them in the 10 frames, but at least they'll be set up and ready for them. When he does, it'll probably be the first Sunday day he gets, but it's supposed to start raining tonight. It's gonna be raining through tomorrow. Uh, don't know that he'll get it done tonight, but that's where I'm headed and what we're gonna do this evening. And I'll take you along. We're gonna run into the Dollar General real quick for a little caffeinated pick me up. After that, we'll continue on to our assignment, our chores, our task. I'm not parking in the handicap. I just pulled up there to get a good shot on backing in this spot. <laughs> 